हेलो एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू किताबी बातें टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ बुक ऑर्डर्ड बाय श्री एम द होम कमिंग एंड अदर स्टोरीज श्री एम इज अ वेल नोन स्पिरिचुअल गुरु अ वेरी रिवियर्ड फिगर इज अ प्रोलिफिक ऑथर इज रिटन सम फैंटास्टिक बुक्स स्पेशली अप्रेंटिस टू हिमालयन मास्टर विच इज ऑटोबायोग्राफी ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद द पद्म भूषण इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो वेल ही इज अ स्पिरिचुअल फिगर एज ए टोल्ड यू हैज रिटन सम रियली अमेजिंग बुक्स ऑन ऑन स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑन हिंदुइजम सो वेन आई सॉ दिस बुक इन अ बुक स्टोर आई जस्ट वॉट द बुक आई डिड नॉट नीड एनी डिड नॉट हैव एनी सेकेंड थॉट्स एज इज नॉट फ्रॉम श्री एम बट आई वॉज टेकन इन फॉर अ सरप्राइज एंड स्टार्ट रिड्यूडिंग दीज स्टोरीज इट एज थर्टीन शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड वेल ऑल ऑफ दैम वर वर नॉट स्पिरिचुअल हाउ एवर I was really amazed by Shri M's uh, imagination. These are thirteen stories, thirteen different topics, which deals with spirituality, which deals with terrorism, horror, thriller, and and what not. So yes, it's a it's a bundle of different stories, completely different genres. And I, as I said, I really admired Shri M's. imagination as well as way of writing i just love reading all the 13 stories so i'll tell you a bit about a few stories not all 13 of course so one of them is the hell hole which is which is the horror story so this is about a person who deals in in real estate and he goes to you know see a property which he is uh, planning to buy now this uh property is in a secluded place and is uh, you know believed to be haunted and but this person doesn't cares about this ghost and all uh, he thinks it's a sheer nonsense but uh, what happens is that he goes inside this secluded place and yes he encounters a ghost and this person eventually dies uh, due to that ghost story plain you may believe it's very a simple story but trust me it was really scary and there's another story which is uh, which is about a person which is the homecoming the story in prokem what which it says the title of the book uh, that is i would say one of the most emotional stories in this book so this is about a boy who who gets attracted to the world of uh, spirituality and he leaves his parents at a very young age he just writes a letter that hey i'm taking this a uh, spiritual path and he goes its parents try to find him but to no avail uh, his father unfortunately dies and and later on it happens after a couple of years this boy has this longing for home and he goes back to his house he meets his his mother and he spends the rest of his life in that home and yeah after some time the mother dies but fortunately she she sees uh, her her son alive and he spends a great deal of time with her how it happens is that is really something interesting net how this boy who thought of you know living a, a spiritual life and ascetic's life uh, comes back to you know his mother that's that's really the interesting part uh, another story which i liked out of these 13 this one is called uh, the last day of the guru i'm sorry the guru's last day so well here in uh, shri m as i was uh, talking about his imagination and the variety of stories so shri m being a spiritual guru himself in this story the guru's last day talks about uh, those gurus who basically masquerade as gurus who are not really spiritually inclined but they they you know misuse the the power the position which they have in the society so it's about a person who is really crafty who is shrewd and he's he's a spiritual guru and a doctor who actually loses his only son because of this this fake guru and the doctor takes the revenge on that guru after several years and one very important point in that book in this story was that while his son dies because of the uh, guru but the doctor actually and his wife also leaves him Uh, because this doctor takes the path to spirituality and he leaves you know his family and son it takes a lot of time for this doctor to actually realize what went wrong so i think that is one uh, very uh, important point which is raised that sometimes we get so fascinated by this uh, world of spirituality and all you perhaps you know, do not really understand it and we are just enamored by uh, some revered figure or someone that we we fail to apply uh, you know our logic so i think that's a very critical Uh, message while i am all for having a spiritual life but yeah one should not get misguided when it comes to living a spiritual life and that has been described uh, very beautifully in this story so the last story which i am talking about is the assassin and it's it's a story about terrorism so well there is this person who is who wants to kill the prime minister of india because he thinks it is because of the you know the army and all that his wife and daughter got killed and he goes against india and he's assisting pakistan in you know eliminating the prime minister little does he know that 
Pakistani army actually created that entire plot uh, just to make sure that he joins the Pakistani side and it's Pakistan itself which got his his wife and daughter killed. However, so he decides to you know shoot the prime minister dead when he visits uh, uh, Kashmir and uh, interestingly he the prime minister lifts up a little girl and uh, for a moment he just loses track of everything because somewhere he gets the glimpse of her own uh, daughter who passed away and within those moments wherein he doesn't do anything uh, the intelligence guys catch him up and you know he get gets caught so within that story you can say actually a very beautiful message of you know because ultimately it's the love for a daughter with his daughter which actually uh, led to all this you know he didn't he not shooting the prime minister and by that time intelligence guys catching uh, up with him so all in all, I, as I said, 13 stories, I talked about three to four stories, I would say wonderfully, uh, beautifully written stories. And yes, these are not only spiritual stories you, you get to know about. It's different feelings, different emotions. And I would say a lot many feelings and emotions, a lot many genres all covered in, in this one book. Uh, as I mentioned, I am I am a fan of Shri M. I have written almost every book, but uh, this is one again, I, I would strongly recommend. Well, this is it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And as I said, Shri Ram's all books are wonderful. The one I would strongly recommend is On Meditation by Shri Ram and Apprentice to Himalayan Master. These are just fantastic books. So if you haven't read Shri Ram, I would say you should start reading his books. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice day and please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.